Here's Brody Brazil. I mean, there should not be 15 gut punches, but I have them here for you now in retrospect. And you'll notice that gut punch number one, it doesn't even take place until mid to late June. So all 15 of these gut punches happened down the stretch, close to the second half. I mean, it really was a great beginning. Well, not great out of the gate, but overall a great April, May, and into June. But June 18th, I think this was one of the first turning points of the season. 18th through the 20th against the Yankees in New York. You win the first game on a Friday night. You drop the next two in dramatic fashion, a late homer by the Yankees on Saturday. And then the A's were trying to win the game after giving up a late lead on Sunday. And Sean Murphy hits into a triple play off Aroldis Chapman, who couldn't find the plate. If I'm correct, he walked the bases loaded. There was one out. No, no outs, right? Triple play. And uh, that's how the game ends. And frustrating because the A's could and should have swept the series. Instead, they lose two out of three. But that's okay, right? That's the Yankees. You're going to hit these moments of, of bad luck. Their next series against the Rangers, a four-game series in Arlington, they split. I mean, that's no good way to follow up after playing the Yankees really well. And that's what's next on your road trip. Um, Nothing quite bad until after the All-Star break, July 22nd through the 25th against Seattle. Again, a series that started out well. The A's took game one. But then the next three games are each decided by single runs and they go to the Mariners. Three straight one-run losses for the A's against Seattle. Now, we know how that ultimately turned out, how Seattle decided Oakland's season in an unfortunate manner, but that was kind of the start of these close games and this one-sided nature and stuff really not going the A's way. Then more gut punches. Trevor Rosenthal, we find, is out for the season shortly after that Seattle series. Steven Piscotti's wrist really starts to keep him out of games, out of lineups, um, he's going to eventually have surgery. He'll be out for the season. Same thing with Rose, Rosenthal, his second major surgery out for the year. And then at the beginning beginning of August, right near the trade deadline, in fact, right after it, Ramon Laureano was suspended for the rest of this season and into the 2022 schedule. That was a huge gut punch. I mean, look at the names and contributions that you would like to project for these names and players, and now you're getting none of that down the stretch. Gut punches continue. August 17th, Chris Bassett hit with a line drive comebacker in the head. What are the chances? And not just that. That game was toast. That night was an absolute throwaway. But then the A's in that series lose three of four to Chicago. Frustrating. What a gut punch. I mean, uh, you know, the injury alone, losing Bassett for at the time, what we were pretty sure would be the rest of the season. It wasn't. Um, but did not help the A's trajectory at that point. Then you get to late August, back at home, hosting the Giants. A's win game one of the series. Same thing. Games two and three are decided by Giants pinch hitters in late innings, two eighth, seventh, a seventh and an eighth inning homer what was one Lamont Wade Jr. And the other one was Donovan Solano. Back-to-back days, the A's bullpen gives up a seventh and an eighth inning homer, pinch hit homers, that take leads and ultimately win the Giants two games and the series. What a gut punch that is. Okay, let's go to August 23rd and 24th. Two games at the Coliseum, quick series against Seattle, just even split at the worst. The A's lose both. And at that point, Seattle was, I want to say three or four games back of the A's. That would have pushed them really out the door. That would have fended them off for a lot longer than what happened. Instead, now they're only two games behind the A's. I mean, they are knocking on Oakland's door for the first time really all season. That was as close as they'd ever been. And then it brings us to that infamous uh, weekend series in Toronto. And by the way, a personal pet peeve. It's not a famous series because that's for a good way. Infamous is famous for a bad reason. So many people use infamous and they think they're saying famous. This, if you want to know the definition, if you always want to remember what's infamous, that weekend series at Rogers Center was infamous. You had the implosion on Friday night. The A's were up 8-2. Uh, Marcus Simeon ends up 
walking off. Was it a three-run homer to win the Jays the game? They got blown out, I think, on Saturday, and then they won a relic. No, then these, can't remember. What was the sequence? See, and this is why I'm trying to do this review as close as possible. Let's just say that all three losses were heartbreaking because of how they happened and how this series started. But the A's did get blown out in one of those other two games. They got swept in three. A huge gut punch of the season. The way it happened, um, the word implosion, that's another word that's perfect to the definition there. Then you get to September 10th through the 12th. Again, these Texas Rangers. Are you noticing a trend? The Rangers in Seattle keep offering gut punches here. Win the first game of the series at the Coliseum, lose the next two. September 20th through the 23rd, still at home against Seattle, swept in four games by the Mariners, not just that. Remember before how we said that the A's couldn't kind of put their season to rest, couldn't really knock them out of the race? Well, when the A's got swept, they also got leapfrogged by the 23rd in the standings, and the A's never caught up again with Seattle. Okay, we're almost getting to the end of the gut punches here. Uh, Elvis Andres, final home series of the season, breaks his fibula, scoring the game-winning run, rounding third. He actually ran the final 90 feet with a broken fib. I'm I'm sure the adrenaline alone pushed him through those 90 feet, but look, at that point, you were hanging on by a thread. Your season was. That was kind of the ultimate kick in the shorts. How about the dozen losses in a row to Seattle? That happened on the final road trip. He's got swept up at T-Mobile Park, and that's when they were really sniffing the playoff opportunity. Still hard to believe that this year they didn't make it. They haven't made the playoffs since 2001. And then I'm throwing this in there because it's a nice round number, uh, 162, but also 15 for me to fill out these gut punches. Getting walked off on, even in the last game of the year, that didn't mean a single thing. And Chris Davis hits the homer on the top of the ninth to tie it at six. And then the Astros literally went in the bottom of the ninth in a walk-off. It was, it was a microcosm of an A's season that had a lot of highs and lows. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I had some good highs too. It had some tremendous lows, as you can see here with all of these gut punches.